Good afternoon, good evening, this is John Paul Rye. I'm coming from Tokyo, Japan. I got two themes here today. First, I want to talk about Alfred from Batman. And I heard, it's a rumor, but even if it doesn't come true, it's still going to be the same point to bring it home, is that Alfred from Batman might be changed to a woman. Now, I'm just getting a little bit tired of gender swaps from these classic characters. And when you talk about a classic character, Alfred is a really classic character. This year, Batman turns 80 years old as far as the creation. He was first in Detective Comics in 1939. And Alfred probably came after that because Batman, if you don't know, was kind of like a mysterious figure who popped in and out. And the audience didn't really know who he was in the same way, I don't think, for the very early stages. But Alfred came in really soon after. And it's disrespect that I want to see kept for the original material and the source material for what they're using. I don't like when they use franchises that are 80 years old in everyone's mind as certain ways and they change it. Now I'm not saying things can't change with the time, things can be flexible, but you have to keep some core concepts the same or it's just something different or make your own goddamn new characters. Wait, they can't. That's the problem. They can't make their own new stuff. So they have to use the stuff from the past and manipulate it and change it around to what they see is the agenda today. Whether that agenda is going to bring more money, be more popular, they don't care. They're just trying to make it for the times they perceive it to be today. And people have said Hollywood has lost touch. And yeah, they've, they've lost touch. They probably just don't have a great idea what's going on among many other mistakes they're making. So this rumor comes from a tweet and I saw it on my friend's channel who I will mention in the description. And the tweet already has like 20,000 likes. And this brings me to my second point, is that the problem is social justice warriors are now conditioned to defend anything against someone who says, well, I don't want a gender swap. It should be a man. And the reason I'm saying Alfred should be a man in this case specifically, and among other cases that are similar, is that the character is 80 effing years old. It's 80 years old. It's a tradition pretty much. So it seems to me there's no tradition left in filmmaking. Nothing can be kept sacred anymore. Everything has to be changed and manipulated like it's a piece of plastic for the times. No, Batman and Salor, and Star Wars for that matter, and Terminator is not like a piece of flexible plastic or clay that you just kind of manipulate to what's going on for that decade. That's the whole problem. That's why the quality level of movies just isn't as good these days. It's because... They're getting manipulated and just pretty much thrown around in every direction and just having things tried with them. And we don't need to try things. The movies that we love are tried and tested. And Batman is a real modern Marvel of the century. I mean, of these times. I know, I said Marvel. It's actually DC. Alright, bad joke. You get my point. It's a real modern classic and there's no reason to mess with the characters. Now, a lot of these zombies, NPCs, SJWs, and some are smarter than the other. I can't make a blanket statement like all of them are like this, but there's a lot of them who are programmed to defend against quote-unquote sexism when I say, well, Alfred should not be a woman. It's not sexism. It's trying to keep up tradition. It's trying to keep up some respect for the creator, Bob Kane, who made these characters 80 years ago, or probably more. He probably thought of them, you know, before he actually put it in print. So let's just show some effing respect is basically what I'm saying. And if you're not willing to show that respect and you're going to call out people for being man babies and trolls and sexists and haters and things like that, then yeah, you're just a zombie repeating things. You don't have your own ideas. I still to this day argue that Ray is a Mary Sue. I don't think it's an argument or an opinion. She is, but I still try to educate people as to why. And they still defend it with the same regurgitated things about what Ray does and what Ray doesn't do and her failures. And the thing is, they can't think out of the box and realize that it's not about what Ray does or doesn't do physically as far as her actions that make her a Mary Sue. They can't think past that. They really don't understand what a Mary Sue is. And the same way these SJWs and NPCs and zombies argue against people who don't like gender swaps with certain traditional characters. So, those are my thoughts, and like I said, even if this rumor doesn't come true, it doesn't matter. My point remains the same, is that these people will just defend whatever. 
I started this channel because I really disliked The Last Jedi and it seems like now things are getting worse and I have to say I'm finding things I like almost as little as The Last Jedi. Did that sound right? Okay. I'm finding things that are like almost even with The Last Jedi on my dislike level. Last Jedi takes a cake but there's some things coming really close these days. I'm rambling. That's when it's time to let you guys know I got a patron. Check that out. Link below. Some Twitter accounts link below. I gotta thank everyone who's commenting, supporting these videos. Click subscribe if you're still listening, then maybe you want to. Anyway, see you next time. <laughs>